Recently, I have people asking me to make a video how to connect the Ulink NT to the SPI Flash on uh, 6121 modem. So I'm going to explain to you uh, how this is, how to connect it and how this works. So this is the data sheet of a Windbound W25Q64 and We need to look at the pinout of the flash. So scrolling down to here is the eight pin uh, pinout, and this is the sixty pin pinout. Okay. So if you look at the flash here, it's look like this way. So there is a dot on the flash. This is pin one, and if you look at this, only eight pins is used. So Hold pin VCC CS DI and this is WP ground DI CLK. So no matter what, you those pins are uh, something you need to consider. And in the programming and the read mode, typically you need to pull this pin high and this pin high. So if you do not, then you may not be able to detect or program because this this hold pin and WP. WP stands for uh, write protect. Okay, so I am using a clip. So keep this somewhere handy and you will probably always would need to use it. So I am using some jumper like this. Okay, these are, this is eight pin jumper. And when I purchase, it comes with the uh, adapter like this. So come with adapt like this. When you, can, you see there's a pin one to pin uh, eight this way. So when you put, 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 put here, it will convert back to the A pin like this. And on the left side, this is like 16 pinning out. And if you look at, I already sorted those wire to the VCC. That is pull the WP and hold pin out uh, to high. And I also purchased this, this is a 16 pin clip and I sorted the wires so that it matches here. So when I, I connect this one here, it will also match this, convert the 16 pin to eight pins like this. And people may ask why we need this. And let's explain to you the old days old days when you use have a programmer you have something like this this is a programmer and this is typically when you desolder the chip it's it's go here so this is a pin out 8 pin actually is something like this you need to put, put on it and lock it to the programmer and we do, we don't need to program program here so what we need is put ulink nt and with the proper jump wires to make those connections so when you purchase the you link NT, it will come with package like this and come with the jumper. So you need to open it and remove the cap. So when you cook up like this and the top one, the wire like this will be one, two, three, four, up to 10. And this will match the ping out on one, two, three, four like this. And in the software, in the software, we will have a ping out how to make this connection. And because of this one already have the uh, WP and hold goes up. So now we need to make the connection. And this one is pin, this one pin 10, a uh, pin 10 is IO0. So let's open the data sheet here. And let's take a look uh, because this converts 60 pin to pin to eight pin. So now look at the pin here, eight pin. So the first pin is DI. We need to convert this one to DI. So the first one go to DI is pin five. 
So let's con connect this one to pin five. Okay, so one, two, three, four, pin five. And pin six is clock. Clock is the screen one. By the way, the Unink NT color coded is is color coded. Okay, so this one is clock. And then the uh, DO, DO is pin, this one is pin eight. So DO goes to two, pin two, so pin two is here. Sorry, pin two is here. Let's re-emphasize, re okay, here is DI go to pin five, which is the, the and green one is STK, which goes to the pin six. And this one, the orange one is DO, go to pin two. And the CS is pin one. CS goes is pin, let's say pin four. Pin four is this one, purple, go here. So now we have signal pins connected and we need one more ground pin. Ground pin is pin two on the Unink NT, is white. And go to ground is pin four here. Okay, let me explain. Okay, so pin for ground here. This is this is ground. This is di clock and cs di vcc. How to connect the clock? Okay, then we go to the so all those pin out. Now we need to connect the power. And even though Ulink does come with the power, and in emergency case, you can use pin one to connect the power, which is pin eight. But I will highly suggest make some adapter. I make, I'm going to make a separate video how to use external power supply. In here, I'm going to give another ground here. This, this one, this adapter has the ground and the red one, which is power. And adjust this power to 3.3 volt or sometimes 2.5, 2.6 volt. And then use this clip, okay? Align this pin, this is pin one and pin two. Align here to make the connection. So be very gently connected because this is, is still not very stable. Gently connect it. And then connect this side to the, the uh, PC and power on the uh, power supply. Here is the setup and have, if you look at I adjust to 3.16 volt and it is drawing 450 milliamps of power. So power go here to this adapter, to the chip and this side go to the PC. Now some people say in this case they have uh, inconsistent read and, and flash. They fail to compare and that the reason for that one is because this wire is quite long and our clock speed in this case is 18 meg by default and it's too high. Sometimes if you find inconsistent, then you need to adjust the lower clock, like go to nine meg or go to even lower, like 4.5 meg to be able to get it consistent read and write. Uh, adjusting the clock speed does not mean that you get, get the half of the read speed. Let's say if you go to 18 meg on 3.0, a USB port, you get one meg bit, uh, megabyte per uh, per second to read speed. But uh, if you go to the highest half of the clock, you probably get uh, like six, six, six to seven hundred meg. It's not exact half, so don't worry about this. Speed is not issue. You, in case you fail, okay. If it doesn't fail, then it's fine. So let's re recap here. Um, four pin. Four signal pins from the Ulink NT needs to connect to the target here. And that is TD, DI or TDI, DO, clock, and CS. And those two pins here as IO0, 1, 2, 3. Okay, zero, IO0, zero, which is pin 10, is TDI, DI, IO1 is DO, and IO2 is clock and IO3 is, IO3 is CS. Now, need to connect the ground pin to the ground pin here, and the power is from your power source to, to the chip. And you, you may have different kind of adapter like this, and if you 
some modem you may have direct connect you can direct connect to this header so all it does is make sure those eight eight pins has the proper signal so di from here to here and the o to from here here and the ground connected power connector here and the u-link and power source and that should make you work now because those uh, typically you are purchasing this low end like a few dollars uh, clip is not very high end then make sure to carefully connect it and if you just click like this it may fail and and make carefully connection here the high end clip probably cost you like 20 to 30 dollars each just clip itself but this one like maybe three dollars or four dollars it should, it should, for the regular user, it should be enough. But if you are programming a lot, then probably you consider high-end uh, clip.